Hello and welcome back to 50 something budgets. I hope you are all well. I'm recording in very late um, what did we spend and save in November video today. Um, it is late. It's what the 13th of November today. Um, but I do like these videos even if it really is just for um, my own record. So I've got some um, record of our progress and how we've done against um our budget as we go through each month okay so we'll start with where did we uh, where did our money go in november um which is this one okay which shows where did uh what did we have coming in and what our budget was and what did we actually achieve against that budget where it's green i was uh, under budget where it's red i was over budget and then i had a little bit at the bottom which talks about our conscious spending plan and then we'll have a look and compare our spending against the previous month. So I will zoom in a bit so you can see. Um, so our total income from all sources, so what we started with, other income, uh, savings used and earned income uh, was a total of 7,969.46 in November. And we did make just over £300 in extra income in November. It's the most I've done um, since I really started focusing and tracking on trying to make a bit of extra income. So that was good. So let's have a look at what our budget was and what we spent. So mortgage and utilities, we budgeted 2882 and we spent 2875 and 34 uh, So we were just ever so slightly under budget. A lot of that, I think, is due to rounding because when I set my budget, I don't include the pennies. Um, I just round it up to the nearest number. Subscriptions, uh, we budgeted £21 and spent £20.97, so we were just pennies under that one. Insurances was Bob on. Uh, miscellaneous, um, we budgeted £20. We only spent £4.27 on miscellaneous. It's not a category where we spend a lot because most of our spending is allocated to a specific category. Food, we were over. So we budgeted 440 that if you remember in November, I would had a real think about how we're spending and decided to increase the budget. So we'd started at 440, but we weren't actually very far off our budget um, with the adjustment that I made. Eat out and entertainment, we were £8 over. Hair and beauty, we were spot on. Personal spending. Now, personal spending is funny because it was bonus month, so we get an extra £100 each. So we had £200 each, but we spent £417.99, or rather that's what went through the account. But all of our spending is paid for by our own personal spending money. So if my, you know, if I'd spent £17.99, then I would have put that money out of my personal spending back into the account. So um, it looks like we were over, but everything was accounted for um gifts and christmas so that includes uh, any charity donations any other gifts and christmas presents 615.55 all covered by a sinking fund um nine pound fifty under on my chop is my son that's his little nickname um so that was his pocket money and the money allocate every month just for little float for extras. We were well under on that one. Um, and the reason he didn't get all his pocket money that month is he'd already had some of it um, at the end of October. School, um, we were £50.90 pence over. Um, and that is because I bought some school photographs and I paid for a trip for him. Uh, I think they're off to the cinema with school. So that was that. Um Pet, we were just slightly over there, £2.82. Didn't spend anything on clothes this month. Home, we were over on 164.84, and that's because of um, the work that we've done in my son's room. We bought a load of paint. So we bought paint for our living room, dining room, which is the same colour. Um, we bought um, some paint for my son's room and some paint brushes and what have you. Health was £15.20 over. That was prescriptions and vitamins. And then the good bits, uh, we were £20.85 over. So we put £20.85 more into sinking funds than we'd planned. So a total of £2,015.86 went into sinking funds, which was great. Um, 
November was a bonus month. I don't know if I mentioned that before. My husband got a quarterly bonus and that bonus goes towards our savings goals and sinking funds. Um, so we put, I think, £500 towards Italy um, and about £240 towards Christmas. And the rest of it went to some other bits and bobs as well. Uh, savings challenges, again, we budgeted to put 125 into savings challenges and we put 254.82 in, so nearly £130 more, which is good. 170 for debt was our step change payment. Uh, £15 to glasses was covered by a sinking fund. It was some reading glasses for my husband. Household was £16.45. Um, so we were under budget on that one, but we we're over budget on toiletries. We spent 38.86 against a budget of 30. Um, my husband decided he was going to cut down on drinking in the house on a weekend. So we only actually spent 50 quid um, on beer. So we spent 49.15. So we were uh, over 50 pounds under budget. And then following on from having to replace my husband's broken phone, out of the emergency fund last month. This month we had to replace his AirPods because my son had put them in his Udi and they'd gone through the washing machine and didn't recover. Um, but luckily he got some fabulous ones still in the box, unused with a, with a case cover and everything for £140 from a friend at work. So that was good. Okay, so I was really pleased with November. I know it was it's easier to stay on budget when you've got more money coming in than you normally have. Um, but I think we did really well in some of those areas. So if we look at our conscious spending plan. So anyone who hasn't um, seen me do these videos before, I do have um, a video, oh, I can't remember when it was now, uh, a few months ago, where I looked at our budget in line with the um, Remit Satis, I will teach you to be rich method which is about having a conscious spending plan um and he recommends that your fixed expenses are no more than 50 to 60 percent of your income and this month for us they were 58.6 uh, so that's all your bills debt payments um those things that you have to pay you know food and utilities that kind of thing investments uh were 5.5 um, which is just mine and my husband's pension contributions, his contribution to pension from his new job started in November. Um, and unfortunately, we don't get any super duper pension benefits. We are both on one of those automatic enrolment schemes at work and there is no incentive for, um, you don't get any matched benefits if you put extra into your pension. Um, and at this point with the debt that we have, it isn't something that we'll be thinking to do. Uh, savings goals need to be five to ten percent and then guilt-free spending is 20 to 35 percent um, so across those two you're looking at a maximum of about 45 percent so savings goals for us we put 1730 pounds in and that was 21.7 percent of our income and then guilt-free spending which is on subscriptions eating out um, entertainment spending money you know, buying a new dress or whatever was 1664, which was 20.9. So I did have a look and I added those two together um, and I was kind of under 43% really and the total's 45. So we were, um, some of our guilt-free spending, we are saving to spend. So that's why it's in savings goals, like for our holidays and things, they would normally be guilt-free spending, but I put them in savings goals. But then things like our emergency fund go in savings goals as well okay so that is our conscious spending plan okay so what i'll do now um is i will take you through how much we've got in all of our binders our sinking funds our savings challenges okay so i'll just get those details now and we'll see how much we've got okay so i'm now going to go through all of my binders and add up everything we've got in savings um whether it be sinking funds or it's our emergency fund or it's savings challenges. Now, you might be thinking, she's had a quick wardrobe change because I'm in a different top. Um, but I'm actually recording this part of the video where I'm going through all of my savings um, about four days before I am doing the wrap up of what do we spend because I wanted to add everything up in my envelopes before I stuffed them for the first week of January. So, uh, Yes, no, no quick wardrobe changes over here. 
So the first thing I'm going to do though is I'm actually going to empty my Safiano. So this is from the last week of November um, because I want to get everything in my binders and savings challenges that needs to begin. So for the first time ever, I've actually got money left in my food budget at the end of the month. It might only be three quid, but it's three quid. Okay. Um, the beer tokens fiver is my husband um, did not drink in this week in the house, which is his little incentive. So that's going to him. I'll put that over there. Um, nothing left in household, nothing in toiletries, nothing in eating out, but there's five left in miscellaneous. So that is going with the three. Uh, nothing left in other income um, because we have stuffed that. We did the um, let the dice decide, uh, roll with it video i think it's from um last week you'll be able to see that where i took all of the extra income that we earned in november and um had a game day with it to stuff it into my different sinking funds and challenges this is rollover money from um, a different week so that can go in there as well and then i've got some coinage at the back so we'll just get that out okay so I'm going to split this a little bit differently. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven pound coins and 95 pence. So the 95 is going in Pammy. We'll slide her over because she's very heavy. And we'll pop that. Whoa. 95 in there. There we go, what's she on? Ooh, £66 and 4p. Okay, and then the seven, did I say seven? Yes, I did. Um, is going into passport. I forgot the word for it then. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes. Doubting myself. So that is going into the passport fund. So we need my green pen. I'm going to do another five and a two and that goes into this tin here three four five six seven okay that's in the uh that one okay so the 18 that i've got from rollover i'm going to put it into um my 100 envelope challenge so i think this is what i'm going to do with rollover money going forward so I don't want too many coins in here because then I've just got to deal with them at the end. Um, and because I only can use the post office, I'm limited to how much change I can pay in. Okay, so let's tape that one off. So it's had a couple of envelopes filled in this week. One from the extra income and then one from the rollover. That's great. So I'll put 18 in the back there uh, where is it i like to keep them in order so there 18 and then we'll start a new colored line shall we do uh what should we do we'll do yellow or peachy color um 18 there we go there we are 18 done so there that's all of the money dealt with from the last week of November um, so I can now add up everything I've got in all of my sinking funds and savings challenges on this document here I just don't have quite enough lines on the original page so I've had to create this one so I've got all of my sinking funds then I've got my long-term savings and then I've got my sink savings challenges and then we'll total up um, the bottom and see how much we've got saved so we'll start with annual, which is this one. I know you can't really see that very well on there. You'll have to take my word for it that I'm writing it down right. So back to school has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Not bad. So late in this year or, you know, quite far ahead of when I need it. Home insurance is due May. I think it's due the 1st of June, but you've got to pay before then, don't you? So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40. So 140. 
in home insurance and I'm I'm increasing how much I'm saving in there to £400 because I, I hear all these horror stories about people's car insurance and everything going up. So um, better to be safe than sorry. Home maintenance hasn't got anything. I don't know why I keep that one in annual, really. I think it's because the envelope kind of goes with the rest of the envelopes. But really, it is more of a, man, uh, a variable sinking fund because I tend to dip in and out of it every um, month. Okay, so I'm just very conscious that the, the ring light is shining very much on these envelopes. So medical and dentist, which is really just dentist. Is 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. Every time I do this, I keep saying I need to have that tooth extracted and I still don't do it. Okay, and then we've got glasses. So glasses, I did have to buy some new reading glasses from Boots this month. 20, 40, 50, 60, 75 in glasses. Okay, and then we have subscriptions. So the first subscription I need to pay for is our two garden waste bins in January. I've got £40 in there already and that will be about 68 I think it is. And then my next one I don't think is due until about August. Um, and then clothes. So clothes, I always neglect clothes, but it's had um, some money added this month from when we did the um, Roll With It game day using the other income so I've got 20 45 I have just used 15 pound of that to go get my husband's suit dry cleaned for work um so there's 45 in there now which is 45 pound more than it had last month so that's that one and then I've got birthdays and occasions which is silver and all of my trackers in here are from the queen bee makes um and the envelopes these laminated envelopes are from budget with ira so my husband's birthday, now we should have had a bit more, but he spent some of it um, on something he needed um, this month. I mean, his birthday's beginning of February, so, I, you know, I don't mind. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 65, 165. So I'm going to get that fully funded by January, because his birthday is at the beginning of February. Okay, so I won't be getting any more. I won't be doing i think he spent 45 so um i won't be doing the 320 and 45 it'll be the 320 plus what he's already spent and then my birthday has got 20 40 60 80 90 which is coming along nicely because mine's not until the summer okay and then we've got the chops birthday which is the beginning of may and he's got 20 40 60 80 100 and 20 40 50 what am i doing with me counting today notes are all over okay um and then gifts this just gets a tenner a month 10 20 pound because we don't have a lot of birthdays to pay for or gifts to buy outside our immediate birthday um outside our immediate family rather um end of january is the first one i need to fund and then mother's day is getting it's got 40 i think 10 20 30 40 yeah 40 for mother's day and then 20 for father's day i was going to do a cash condensing this month but i think i'll just do it at the end of the year 10 20 oh and for once i got the word right condensing i'm forever wanting to call it cash consolidation so there we go. That's birthdays and occasions. That was 20 and Father's Day. And then we've got variable. Is variable next? No, travel's next. It's variable's next in my order that I've got them stood up. But travel is the next one on my list. Okay, so um, let's have a look. So this is Italy. This is for our holiday to Italy to actually pay for the holiday itself. And I've got 1,000, 2,000, 2,200 in the bank. 220, 40, 60, 80, 320. So 2,320 saved to pay for our Italy holiday. I was hoping to get that one to 3,000, um, but it's just not going to happen. Okay, so oh, I've missed one out, which was Christmas. 
and that was at the back of birthdays and occasions and i'm just going to put that down as zero um because i no longer have the money saved in a sinking fund it's all put been put into my budget because the, the rest of it will be getting spent tomorrow uh, why am i putting italy away i mean travel away okay so the next one is our italy spending money and in here i have got 20 40 60 75 and if you haven't seen um we do one of these videos before i have coins uh, euro coins left from when i was in germany earlier in the year um that make that 70 euro 70 quid so that's why i count it as uh as though it was sterling so that hasn't moved at all 75 i'm concentrating on paying off the holiday Reykjavik and new york are the same trip this is an eight day trip that we're taking at the end of december next year it is our 2025 holiday we're just taking it at the end of 2024 don't need the tracker do we um and then I'll just pay this by standing order so it never ha really has any cash in it um and i split the payment between these two savings challenges even though it is the same trip and that's just to make it more bite size and achievable for me so each one of these is actually 105 so i've got 105 210 in Reykjavik so 200 and oh hang on I've missed two out we'll come back to those two and then Reykjavik spending has not been started yet oops so that's zero and then New York which is the other part of the standing order that I sent to the bank that has got 500 pound in it I send over 355 so um New York gets 250 Ricky Bit gets 105 so that's 500 so back to these two that I've missed so one of them is Easter break um if you remember we had to change our trip um because of the terrible weather and everything we didn't end up going away at half term but I've still got some of the money in here um, because I moved the trip oh just bear with me a second sorry my friend was at the door then um so yes we'd Supposed to go on holiday in October and we cancelled it and moved it to Easter. We've decided that we're not going to go ahead with that trip. But I've still got the money I'd saved towards the Easter one in here. So I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 and that will be redistributed. I just haven't decided where I'm going to put it yet. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave it in there for now. So that's Easter break, 100. Um, and then passport was in here but then i used it um or rather i used my pound coins that are left over at the end of each week to start that challenge so that is actually in here and it is going to be used for my son's passport um so i've got 5 10 15 17 19 21 22 23 pound in passport Okay, so that just lives in savings challenges and the money is in here now. So that's that one. Okay. So what are we on to next? New York spending. So we'll go back a bit. So that was New York that we did that had the 500. New York spending money hasn't got anything in it. A lot of that is going to come from my 100 envelope challenge. Um, and then we've got girls trip. So when I did my game day, I put the money in here and I forgot to fill in the tracker. So I filled it in now at the front. So it should all match. And in girls trip, I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. And that is for my week in Lanzarote with the girls. Okay. Um, and then this is boys trip, which is my son's trip to Manchester. That's, <laughs> he doesn't have to pay, he's paid for his ticket and his hotel. It doesn't have to pay for till the middle of June when he goes. So um, he's got 20 pound in his. So we will end up with the same amount. It's just I need mine earlier than his because I need to pay for the flight in March. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, boys trip done. Girls trip. I haven't written it down. £90. Right, that's it. So we're on to variable next. Variable. So we've got haircuts. Because I missed that, tr that haircut in October, I just seem to be quite far ahead of myself in haircuts so i've got 20 30 44 um so i've got money to add this month to it but then my husband and son are getting their hair cut tomorrow 
So 44, not tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, beauty, there's not got anything, it never does. Health has got nothing, because I did stuff it last month in November, but then I've used it to buy vitamins. Pet has got 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 57 in pets, because I still haven't ordered him that muck, Daddy. My the ground is so frozen today. Um, you're not going to get mucky. We've had snow for the last two days. Not masses of snow, but enough, and it's so cold. 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 57. I forgot how much I had in it then. 57. Too busy gassing. Uh, okay, um, nothing in my son's one because we've spent it. Uh, nothing in five week month, which I've put back in. So my first five week month is in January. And I really just want the money that I would spend on a fifth week of groceries, school, miscellaneous, that kind of thing in there. And that would be 175. Now I don't know if I'll do it for January, but I think then the next five week month for me is April. Um, so I should get it done by then. So that's all I need in five week months. Um, and then nothing in Costco. And we just recently renewed our membership. Um, and I think it's probably the last year that we do it, to be honest. Unless I, um, well, I can't change my car for a petrol until 2026. Um, and my husband can't use his fuel card at Costco, I don't think. So we're a bit snookered that way. Okay, so let's add up everything I've got in sinking funds. You know, I bought these new reading glasses and I'm sure I bought a weaker prescription than I need and I keep having to pull everything towards me so that I can see properly. Um, so just talk amongst yourselves while I get this added up. I should just zoom forward, shouldn't I really? Right, we've got 4,000, can you see that? There we are, 4,254. 4,254. Ooh, so a nice little jump from last month. So last month, the end of October, we had 3,465. We've got 4,254 now, which isn't bad to say that the £495 for Christmas has come out of there. Okay, so let's have a look at long term. So I've already filled in the emergency fund because I always forget how much it is um, that I've got. So I know that that's in this one. So I'll move the pad back over there um, because there's 3,015 in the bank. So I've got the 1,000, 2,000, 3,015. So 325, 335, 345, 355. So 3,055 in that one. So that'll just be on hold until I have refilled the buffer. So I didn't have any £10 placeholders. So what I've actually got in the buffer is 200, is 200 350, 60. So there's 360 in there because we spent 140 on replacing those airpods okay so um that will be the focus so the the money that i usually put aside for emergency fund will be redirected to rebuild that buffer okay um hmrc is the next one on my list there's nothing in there um which is a relief because i don't need to pay a big bill pay a load of my child benefit back so i'm chuffed a bits with that um Though, if I continue to earn money on YouTube and it takes me over the £1,000 trading allowance, then I will start putting some money in there as well. Um, and then full and final, so I've got the £20, which was from when we did the game day. And then I had £22.15, which is from the um, last three digits that I am taking off my bank account and transferring to my full and final um, Starling account each Friday. So I've got 42.15 in that one. 42.15. Okay, so in here, so in long term, I have had them three up. 
oops, 3,457.15. 3,457.15. Okay. Right, let's do savings challenges. So there's nothing tropical because we redistributed that in November. Pammy has now got, I forgot, I wish I'd written it down now because sometimes I'm trying to get her to come back on again. £66 and 4p. 66 and 4p. Um, planner. Now, planner, planner, planner is in this. Okay. So, in the planner challenge, I have got um, this is September and October and November's £50 monthly challenge. So, I've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So, I have that in there. Um, but I'm actually taking it out and that is going into my budget. So um, we've seen it now because it's still counting out November's. But that, as of the 1st of December, that is not in there anymore. Um, autumn, we haven't got because um, autumn was completed and was added to my Christmas savings. So that's zero. As well as 12 months of Christmas. Um, and then 100 envelope challenge, I had 180. Now, I know I've got more than that. Um, so, let's just add up the envelopes that I've done. So, I've done 2, 5, 8, 18, 25, 36, 40, 49 and 51. So, I've done... £234 in the 100 envelope challenge which as I say is fab because I never expected to start that until next year it was always going to be a 2024 challenge so what did I say uh, 234 234 and then the Christmas gonks we haven't started yet so that's zero so um and there's nothing else in this one, is there, that we haven't counted. We'll just double check. Um, so, planner we've done. Passport we counted earlier. Nothing in gonks because it's not started. Wind oh, winter's not started. This one has been started. I've forgotten. So, this is home. And that is... Uh, so, the goal for that one is actually £500. And this is to pay for our mattress. Um, and this was stuffed with money from uh, our other income when we did the game day. So there's £20 in there and I've just pulled the blooming thing off the end. Go on. There we are. Good job I checked, wasn't it? Good job I checked. Nothing else in the rest. I've got all my Christmas savings in the back of here. Because I think the red one's going to be Christmas next year. Okay, so in... Savings challenges, we have £66.4, 150 234 and 20 So £470.4p. So let's add all three together. So I had £4,254 plus... Ooh, heavy this book. £3,457. 15 plus 470 pound and four so we're over eight thousand we are uh, eight thousand oops 181.19 okay so i don't know if you can see that on there 8181.19 and in october we were three four sixty five Three and a half and seven seventy. So we were at the end of October seven thousand seven hundred and thirty five fifty six. The light in here is not great, apart from under the ring light, so it's um this is solar power, this calculator. It, unless you get it in the right angle, it gets some light. It's difficult to see. Uh, okay, so um, 
So the difference between those two is 445.63. Okay, so bear in mind we've spent all of our Christmas money. Um, that's not too bad. 445.63. It's going in the, way, the right way. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy with that. As I say, we're not going to get to the 10,000 that I was originally hoping for because lots happened since I set that goal at the beginning of October. Um, nor are we going to get to the £3,000 for Italy. Um, but I think we'll, you know, we shall see some increase in this in December. Um, there's money going in time, you'll sink in funds that won't be spent. Um, there'll be money going into our trips and travel that won't be spent in the month. So, um, yeah, we shall get there. It's much better than it was last year so what i'll do at the end of december i'll compare what where we are now to where we were at the end of december um and i think a lot of it as well it's a huge mindset shift for us um i get so much pleasure out of doing cash stuffing and uh sinking funds and uh savings challenges that um completely different place than where we were this time last year okay so I uh, hope you found that interesting. Any questions or anything, do let me know in the box below and I shall be back with you all shortly. Goodbye.